I felt like I was gonna pass out in there. Like, mm mm. took me almost an hour to fully like rest and, and get it together because I was in there the class started at 10 okay you know it's 45 minute class and the only thing I ate was breakfast which was at like 8 something but I was like it should be fine it should still be on my stomach so I have something to burn tip I always eat before you work out, which really is common sense, which that was a dumb mistake I made, but make sure. The next day. Okay, so we are currently at Walmart. Uh, I know the lighting is getting kind of bad. It is getting dark outside, which I hate taking King outside in the dark by myself. I just, I don't like it. But I had to get some of my, um, some more of my boost shakes and then we needed some waters really bad too, like we have zero so that's what we came here for it's slightly crowded and i'm slightly irritated because of it okay so just got down working out and i have learned a few things since i started back because i did stop for a few weeks number one it is very hard to work out with a toddler okay you know first you want to you have to well me i have to make sure that i'm watching him you know kind of like while i'm working out just to make sure he's not getting into stuff because of course he's walking now he know how to go up the steps and do all of this stuff so i kind of have to watch him as i'm working out and then sometimes as i'm working out he'll come over you know because he thinks you know I'm playing or something like that. So he'll come over and laugh or try to sit on me or, you know, little stuff like that. It's like, honey, no, mama is trying to work out. And um, another thing I've learned, so I started back going to kickboxing class. Um, I did start a new job, so it's really kind of hard. I'm so sorry if this camera's shaking. I'm holding it with my hands. But it's been kind of hard just to get back on track um, because, you know, I have went back to work. So just trying to figure out a good schedule for me to work out and do the kickboxing classes because the kickboxing classes they don't really have like a whole lot of evening classes so like they might have a class at like 5 30 or something like that so um that's kind of time conflicting for me and then also working out from home you don't have anybody to hold yourself accountable and when it comes to accountability when it comes to working out I'm sorry. If I'm tired, I'm going to rest. I'm going to sit down, drink some water or whatever. But at kickboxing, of course, you know, you in a whole class with a bunch of people. So it kind of like makes you want to just go on. Um, so that's another thing I've learned. It's true dedication. I feel like it's way different than going to the gym. So, um, but you know, I'm going to keep going. I did get on the scale. I'm still at 135. Of course, I'm still stuck at that number because I've really lost all of my progress that I did have. So that's that. I'm just gonna be honest, honey. I did not want to come go to this dang kickboxing class. Don't know if y'all can tell or hear, but it is pouring down raining outside. Pouring freaking down. Just realized I left my water, so <laughs> hopefully they got some. And it just took a lot in me to, you know, come today. I'm actually gonna be late. Class started too. It's gonna be two in like seven minutes. So, um, yeah, very unmotivated. The weather has made me just be like, not even want to do it. I really wanted to cancel my membership overall because of it, honey, but whatever i'm going so i definitely need to get some new tires honey because uh <laughs> i was turning into the parking lot uh in kickboxing class and girl it's like i not hydroplane but i kind of lost control of my car so i don't know if it's something going on with my tires or i'm pretty sure it's my tires so 
just got done working out honey i'm glad i went um it was something i had to tell y'all honey i can't remember okay i remember so um last week i was thinking another reason i was thinking about just not going back to kickboxing is because of how bad COVID has gotten i mean i know i started going you know still in you know we were still in the pandemic but of course a new strand has come out and it's you know more contagious so of course going to kickboxing class you know i do wear my mask and stuff when i go out but with kickboxing honey i'm gonna be done passed out so i don't wear a mask and i only saw one person today wearing a mask that's the only person i've seen wear one since i've been going so um that does have me kind of nervous because this you know new strand is way worse and then you know having king and stuff it just makes me nervous so i'm still you know kind of thinking about that too another thing too y'all it must have been some kind of oh my gosh this road is so freaking bad mm. let, let me come back but anyway it must have been a telepathic memo between the black woman in the class, honey, because we all had on scarves, okay? And I just, I felt like that was black girl magic. It made me feel good. <laughs> you know, I do it because my hair is twisted up, so I just feel like this is the best way to kind of keep my hair protected and stuff. But um, overall, the class was good. I did not park straight, but when do I ever park straight? Class was good, but um, I'm going to keep y'all tuned in on my decision for kickboxing with this whole Delta variant. Um, I'm actually kind of surprised that they haven't said anything about that because um, they open back up. The kickboxing place open back up sometime this summer. And so um, they do have an app where you can schedule. And then like if it's, um, if it has reached capacity, then it'll be like no more spots. But I really wonder how they monitor that because... I guarantee you everybody that goes to kickboxing class, I guarantee you they don't have the, uh, excuse me, I guarantee you they don't have the app. So it's like, how are y'all even keeping count of how many people are in the class? I just be kind of worried, you know, it, this whole pandemic, it just makes me, just breathing, you know, it's just scary because this virus is airborne. So, and then, you know, two people in my family have caught the virus. So it just clearly it's been real, but you know, when people that close to you get it, you, it, it makes me, you know, kind of paranoid. It makes me be like, oh my gosh, you know, which I'm not going to say it cause I don't want to speak it into the atmosphere, but it's just scary times. You know, you, you want to be fit, you want to be healthy and stuff, but it's like, you also want to make sure that you staying safe and, and trying to do the best that you can, you know, so you don't get the virus. So but you know like i said i do work out at home so that's the thing i just if i decide to fully work out at home i need to just make sure that i'm holding myself accountable i don't push myself as hard as i do when i'm in kickboxing class so um that's another thing that i need to think about i know this video was very short but um I, I didn't really record when I worked out at home this week, so that's another reason why it's uh, pretty short. But if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for tuning in. Y'all, please feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. And I will see y'all in my next video.